If the dating game ever leaves you feeling a little bit awkward, just remember the rest of the animal kingdom is 10 times worse. <laughs> Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D-News. Throughout the animal kingdom, it's really fascinating to look at all the different ways that various species are getting busy with each other. One of the most terrifying, I think, is the praying mantis. It walks around with its arms like this, like it's all pious and holy, but I know better when mantises mate. They do a ritual dance and stroke each other with their antennae, then they begin to mate, which lasts about six hours. And during this period, after all the sweet tenderness, the female then goes on to cut the male's head off. Talk about escalating quickly. In some mantis species, like the mantis religiosa, she has to in order for mating to happen properly. In other species, it happens when she's feeling hungry. Maybe she just, you know, wants a little snack. So once they're done, she'll just eat his whole body. Cutting off his head can also speed ejaculation. Moral of the story, if you enjoy your head, don't mess with the lady mantis. But not all species are so violent or so hetero. Homosexual pairings have been documented in over 1,500 species so far, including two male king penguins at a zoo in Denmark. Zookeepers had found that two males had paired off together, and after a year of partnership, the penguins were caught trying to steal other couples' eggs. They even tried to incubate a dead herring. When a female penguin at the zoo abandoned an egg she'd birthed, the zookeepers offered it to the two dads, and they've since been successful parents. This is not the first gay penguin couple that we've seen pair off and adopt. There have been numerous cases in zoos around the world, including New York's famous Roy and Silo, who were together for about seven years. Check out the whiptail lizard. This species is 100% female. What? Her eggs develop without the fertilization from sperm, a process called parthenogenesis. Seems like it would be bad news, right? Like, what about genetic diversity? If there was some deadly virus that killed off all the weak lizards, wouldn't they all go kaput? Apparently not. It's not fully understood how, but these lizards are not genetic clones of each other. There are close to 100 vertebrate species that multiply this way, and not having to seek out a mate actually seems to be a major advantage. They cut the cording crap and spread like wildfire. The asexual Brahmini blind snake, for instance, has already colonized six continents. That's most of the world, people. But perhaps the most interesting to me is species that behave so similar to us. There are lots of primates that exhibit freakishly human behaviors, and one of the cutest, I think, are gibbons. Small and fluffy with big brains and a flat face, gibbons are a rarity in the animal kingdom because they're monogamous. Most species out there don't stay with their mate their whole life, but for the most part, Gibbons do. These little primates, of which both sexes are about the same size, groom each other, stroke each other, hug each other, hang out together in the trees. It's so sweet. Occasionally, though, gibbons will stray and hang out with other gibbons, sometimes even dumping their mates. Say lovey. Thanks for joining me, guys. Make sure to subscribe for D News, and I'll see you next time.